Well, let's take a look at this DMX USB Pro. This will be the second hardware revision. Pretty, pretty basic stuff. We've got a uh, AT Mega 88 over here. Microcontroller running at um, six megahertz. Uh, what's that? FTDI 245. That'll be a USB to uh, UART chip, taking care of communications uh, on the PC side of it, talking to the uh, Mega 88. Um, this will be a yeah. This will be an isolated um, power supply to bridge across the gap. There's a two coils inside there. It's working to isolate the power supply from this side of the board, um, from this side of the board to stop nasty stuff coming back down the line um, from your lights. And and this IL3185 will be a RS485 transceiver that's isolated as well. You can see that on the, there's no tracks that run across this uh, middle section of the board and those chips are uh, fully isolated inside so that's it. Pr protect us from transients and uh, other shit coming back up the line. New Tide uh, XL, XLR5s. It's very auto routed like they've just thrown it on the board and just the way that the tracks is sort of curious around here. In the middle there's some small resistors there. They're going to be terminating this end of the line, I think. Although, actually, I don't think this... Um, we've got there that cap in the middle smoothing the power supply on the isolated side. Yeah, they'll be current limiting resistors. I, I don't... Uh, it's hard to make the numbers out, but I don't think this is terminated on this end, actually, to facilitate um, transmitting, but I could be wrong. USB port there, lead, a little inductor and a cap. This is just um, smoothing the power coming in from the USB. Yeah, so pretty straightforward anyway. So I'll take a quick look at this um, DMX transceiver anyway. We've got the um, push button and LED there that controls the ID of the unit and whether it's in transmit or receive mode. Just above the LED there there's a 75176 that's a, a um, RS485 transceiver that's for the DMX side of the bus and, and next to it you can see there are headers for um, the UART um, you know, TTL level uh, in case you're installing this inside a light so it's it's you can bypass the um, 485 transceiver if you need to uh, what's that? 24 megahertz little crystal next to it there. Above it, there's a STC 12C5604 AD. That's a um, 8051 micro with. Um, I just read about it actually. It's got 786 bytes of RAM, just like the bare minimum that you could get away with. But it's got a. Uh, Fancy little UART peripheral that's that's very programmable and able to detect errors in frames and all sorts of stuff. So that yeah, that's a little microcontroller that's just doing the bare bones. Uh, some glue around it. This chip here is going to be what is it? An NRF two four L zero one. Imagine that's a oscillator. It'll be doing the frequency um, shifting and encoding of everything from the um, from the output of the micro into RF it's got a crystal down there, I can't quite make out what that crystal is and then this one here will be a um, RF amplifier for sure on the front end and off to this little lantern yep, so there's not much, on the other side there's, there's a couple of pads, it's a uh, the DMX512 PCB V2, but yeah, there's pads here for uh, TTL level UART, and you can just make out the, the numbers under this header here. But this header's got a, um, a supplied tail, it's easy, you just give it 5 volts ground and um, data plus and minus from the XLR. Cool, so I'm going to fit this 
inside this box with the um, DMX USB Pro, fit it off to the connectors and uh, we'll come back and have a look when I've done it. So here's the result, I've packed that little transceiver in, into this DMX USB Pro, um, ret retained all the um, inputs and it's here running uh, off a laptop running in USB Pro mode so it's transmitting from itself um, to this receiver I built into uh, like an old NL8 um, shell that was from a broken, broken plug so and that just goes to a uh, Super XLR. It's just all I need for this gig that I'm doing. Um, this is really going to work out well because not only will this work as a USB Pro that's transmitting as well as being able to um, transmit out of the XLR, um, I'll be able to disconnect this and plug it straight into a USB. What else? Here. I'll be able to plug it straight into a, uh, and now it's just waiting and I'll be able to put a DMX into here, uh, the USB Pro side of it will just be asleep while I'm um, feeding this transmitter um, DMX from, from the input, so that's pretty cool, I'm, I'm, hopefully it works well in terms of range, I, I've got some other tests planned, um, with the logic analyzer just to have a look at the latency between the transmitter and the receiver but the system is really easy it's sort of auto config and oh this isn't plugged in anymore but um, you set the two to red plug one into a um, DMX output so it's receiving and it'll automatically start sending and this, if it detects receiving, it'll just start receiving, or if this just started detecting transmission as well, there'd be a problem, but as long as there's only one transmitter, it can be multiple receivers, so just powered off a USB, I decided it's pretty easy, I've just put the phone charger out of the back, jam it onto the end of the piggyback, so, um, yeah, pretty cool, it's pretty easy to do, I'll, I've got some photos of the, how I wired it on, I'll note that I've actually completely um, destroyed the isolation of this unit, so if I plug this into a, a faulty dimmer or something and then into a PC, I'm not afforded the isolation of all that circuitry in there that's protecting us because, uh, well, basically, I'm really only going to use this to transmit now. i got a few of these. You know, I've never had a problem in 15 years of um, computers exploding from these, and well, we'll just, we'll just see how we go anyway. I'm pretty much only going to use this as a wireless thing now, but I do have the facility to uh, send into it, so that's cool. Anyway, hope you like it. Cheers.